Hey guys, this is Mark Hutton with adultaspergerschat.com. Received this email recently from a neurotypical or NT wife, and she states, I'm married to a man with Asperger's, 17 years, and I think that I may be suffering from Cassandra syndrome. Have you heard of this? Is this common for NT wives who are married to an emotionally unavailable or abusive husband with Asperger's? Well, I have heard of Cassandra syndrome. It's not something that is in the DSM-5 or the Diagnostic Statistic Manual of Mental Disorders, the most recent edition anyway. But Cassandra syndrome is basically the neurotypical or NT spouse's experience of emotional suffering that results from distressing interpersonal relations with a spouse who does not understand, empathize with, or validate the NT's pain and sorrow that may go hand in hand with trying to deal with a husband who is wired differently. Many NT partners are negatively affected by a number of Asperger's traits, for example, lack of empathy, mind blindness, alexithymia, and several others, and I've mentioned all of these traits in detail on other videos. But over time, the NT spouse may begin to feel isolated and invalidated, and in some cases even held hostage in their own home. A common phrase that I often hear from neurotypical wives that are in a marriage with an Asperger's husband is, I'm simply not important to my spouse. He prefers work or his special interest over spending time with me. The emotional distress felt by the NT spouse usually occurs when the Asperger's partner exhibits communication problems, has an inability to be intimate, is emotionally distant, or prefers to relate to the NT partner from a distance. The Asperger's partner often fails to realize that he must be intimate, vulnerable, and empathic in order to truly know and cooperate with his spouse. So, for good reasons, of course, the NT partner wants a deeper, more personal and satisfying relationship, and therefore, oftentimes, she does kind of push the Asperger's partner to step up and participate more fully in the marriage. Unfortunately, though, this pushing and pleading often results in further difficulties because the Asperger spouse now views the NT spouse as being increasingly bitchy, irrational, hysterical, whiny, demanding, and so on. Thus, the person with Asperger's distances himself even more, mostly for anxiety reduction. So, if you're wondering if you do have Cassandra syndrome, here's some of the symptoms. Avoidance of going places, for example, social events with the Asperger spouse because it always ends badly. Being easily irritated and angered. Difficulty sleeping and concentrating. Emotional numbness. Feelings of detachment or estrangement from others. Intrusive, distressing recollections of past encounters with the Asperger spouse that were perceived as him being selfish, uncaring, and insensitive. Markedly diminished interest or participation in previously enjoyed activities. Persistent and distorted blame of self. Persistent and exaggerated negative beliefs or expectations about oneself. Persistent anxiety, anger, guilt, or shame. Persistent inability to experience positive emotions, depression, suicidal ideation, and in many cases, severe resentment. But in any event, it's usually both a blessing and a relief when the NT partner learns about Asperger's and realizes that there actually is an explanation for the Asperger's spouse's, quote, hurtful behaviors. In this way, the NT realizes that she's not crazy, it's not her fault, and that she may have indeed taken a lot of things personally that were in fact part of the disorder. So, if you are an NT spouse experiencing difficulties associated with Cassandra syndrome, just know that you're not alone. And this syndrome is indeed recognized in the literature. And you don't have to take my word for that, just do a Google search on it. So, in a nutshell, a relationship that results in Cassandra syndrome traits is one that lacks emotional reciprocity. That's really the key phrase right there, emotional reciprocity. That exists when partners provide empathic support to each other. It's a mutually beneficial relationship with balanced levels of give and take. But with Cassandra syndrome, one partner does most of the give with very little take in return. 
Also, as a side note, it's not uncommon for the NT spouse to feel lonely, anxious, and depressed because she has tried to tell others, you know, like family members, friends, co-workers, or whoever, about the Asperger's-related marriage difficulties, but oftentimes she receives little to no validation or empathy from other people, or worse yet, she may be viewed as melodramatic and whiny. And the reason for this is because the Asperger's partner often presents himself in quite a different light in the public eye. You know, he appears normal, typical, kind, composed, social, and so on. But at home, honestly, he's quite a different person. And unfortunately, the neurotypical wife gets to see the ugly side of the Asperger's husband and vice versa. It works both ways. Cassandra syndrome uh, is in the literature, and according to many, it is a legitimate syndrome, and it was originally described in the literature as it relates to an Asperger's parent raising a child, and the child is neglected emotionally and all of the damage that can be done there, but then it got generalized into a uh, spouse-to-spouse ordeal rather than a parent-to-child ordeal. Hope that answers your question. Thanks again, guys, for listening. This is Mark at AllAsperger'sChat.com.